Welcome, welcome. In this video today, I'm gonna to reveal to you the blueprint, the approach that's helped dozens of career-driven men burn their belly fat, get a flat stomach, and fully optimize their health while managing their busy career, just like you see here. What I'm gonna break down for you in this video today with this approach is certainly going to be very, very different from what you're used to hearing in the space of nutrition and fat loss. You're not gonna to have to count, track, or restrict a single calorie. You're not going to have to control your portions, weigh your food, or follow any other quantity-based approach that is typically taught in the fitness space. This approach addresses the root cause of weight gain. Now, this approach is a hormonal-based approach. And yes, it does sound a little bit different, but we are addressing, once again, the root cause of weight gain of the problem by addressing the hormone that actually causes you to gain body fat in the first place, that actually causes you to end up having more in the way of visceral fat, body fat that's built up around your organs, and what actually causes your belly fat to expand. And I'm gonna show you how we can actually get to point B here with a flat stomach and reverse this process by unlocking those body fat stores and using them for fuel without having to count or track or restrict a single calorie or control quantity in a way in which it's restrictive. So if you're a career-driven guy that feels stuck right now with a slow metabolism, low confidence, you don't wanna take your shirt off in public, you have some stubborn belly fat that you don't know how to lose and you don't know where to start to get rid of it, this video is going to be for you because I'm gonna break down to you exactly how we'll be able to get you losing body fat, especially belly fat, each and every month so you can eventually get a flat stomach while managing your busy career. So before we dive into this approach on how it works and why it can work for you specifically, I'm just gonna briefly cover why you should even bother listening to me in the first place and some very powerful client transformations of some guys that were in your exact situation that plug this approach in to their busy lifestyles. So I'm an apprentice of a medical doctor with 40 plus years of clinical experience, who's my father, as you can see right here. I've learned everything from him. Nutrition, exercise, and overall health optimization, you name it, I have learned everything from him. I have been actively studying anatomy and physiology for the past five years, researching alongside him. I'm a certified personal trainer, nutrition coach, and corrective exercise specialist through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. So that is why we don't follow the conventional methods that are typically taught in the fitness space, such as counting calories, caloric deficits, etc. We actually address the root cause of weight gain because I've been an apprentice of somebody that has been studying this for decades. So just a little bit more about me. Obviously, I take care of myself. I maintain a body fat percentage of about 5% year round, and I definitely practice what I preach. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So going over some very powerful transformations here, right? So this is my client, Steve. As you can see here, he completely lost all of his stubborn belly fat within a very short period of time as well, right? So within his first nine days of joining the program and working one-on-one -on -one with me, he lost 12.4 pounds. And as you can see here, he could not believe it. He didn't even think it was real. He thought his scale was broken, which I'll play the video for you here right now. Because I know you said that you weighed yourself like four times and just couldn't believe it. And I know the numbers are legit. I made a, a trip to my doctor at, right at the beginning of the program that had me at about 244, 245. And I thought my scale at home was broken, but then I went to the one at the gym and it was the same. And I, I weighed myself again and the next day, and I was like, this can't be real. Like Definitely safe to say that Steve was very pleased with his results. And he was able to see these results while balancing his busy career as an IT professional. He's a network engineer. He lost 40 pounds in four months, about 10 pounds per month. As you can see from earlier, he got a flat stomach. He lost all of his stubborn belly fat. So it's not about how much body fat you lose, but what you can do once you actually lose it. And Steve lost the majority of this weight before his wedding. And as you can see here, when he remeasured his wedding tuxedo, his waist size went down by three inches and his jacket size went down as well. Two notches tighter on the belt and people are noticing the physical difference without him saying that he lost weight. And same with Chris here, he started at 236 and got down to 200 in three and a half months. So he lost 36 pounds in three and a half months. And as you can see here, he lost all of his stubborn belly fat. He was a very busy HVAC technician. He was constantly on the go and he needed a plan that was going to work for his busy schedule. And it definitely worked. And I'll play this video of his transformation right here so you can see it. Pretty, pretty cool. So you can see here, 236, mid-July, got down to 200 in early November. And Dion, he's an IT sales professional. He lost a ridiculous amount of belly fat as well, 12 pounds within his first month joining the program. And 
he was looking for a lifestyle change. He wasn't looking for a quick fix. He was looking to follow a plan that he could follow forever. Not a quick fix, not a three month thing or six month thing, something that he can stick to in the long term. And as you can see right here, we cracked the code for him and it's honestly easy. Now, even though Dion is saying this is easy here, this definitely takes some work. It's not like you're gonna just throw your feet up on the coffee table and just sit back and the weight's gonna fall off. You definitely have to take action. But once the plan is in place, you can definitely start losing body fat on autopilot as long as you take action. Joe, who also works in sales, lost 20 pounds in two months and lost all of his belly fat, as you can see right here. And he is very happy with the new number that he is now seeing on the scale that he had a very difficult time getting to without following a restrictive diet. And now he has a plan that he can follow for the rest of his life and keep this weight off indefinitely. So before we jump in, there's a few links in the video description for you guys to use in case you're interested along the way in working with me. So the first one is gonna be a playlist of some client transformations, including Joe's and the other guys that we just covered, as well as a link on the top, middle, and bottom of the video description to speak with me directly. If you wanna learn more about how I can help you lose your gut and get a flat stomach, and fully optimize your health while managing your busy career. So if at any point you want to explore that, those links will be in the video description. So why do you even want to make a change in the first place, right? You're most likely sick and tired of being sick and tired. You can't fit into your old clothes like you used to. Your confidence and your self-esteem has taken a hit because of the way your body looks. There are certain days when you don't even want to look in the mirror at your gut because you're not happy with your body. Your metabolism has slowed down and this belly fat is the first sign that you're heading in the wrong direction with your health and you want to turn things around now before it's too late and you start facing some more serious problems besides just losing some body fat and some belly fat. Now, who is this for? You're a career driven man who works for a company or runs a business and you're so busy managing your career and your schedule that your health has slipped, leading to belly fat and body fat around your body that you're struggling to lose right now. You've tried restrictive diets or programs in the past, but you can't lose weight without constantly worrying about gaining it all back. You're open to new ideas because you're currently just stuck right now and you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. You're committed to losing this body fat and keeping it off for good and optimizing your health, but you don't know what to commit to for sustainable long-term results. So in other words, you're committed, but you just don't know what to commit to. You're ready to make a change, but you want this to be a lifestyle change that you can follow for the rest of your life, not just a quick fix that you can follow for a few months before a wedding or a vacation. Now, there's three reasons why you guys are currently stuck right now. Number one, you're doing something that is not sustainable even though you're committed. Number two, the method or diet that you're following does not address the root cause of the problem. Number three, you struggle with a lack of structure and accountability to make this plan work for you and your busy schedule. Now, there's three pillars to every perfect plan, right? Nutrition, exercise, and accountability. And if you wanna maximize your progress, we need to optimize every layer here, every pillar. Because if one of them is off, if one is too restrictive, if we were doing endless amounts of cardio, spending four hours on the treadmill, or if we're following a diet where we're only allowed to eat 1500 calories a day, or if we have no accountability or structure to make this work, you're not gonna be able to stick to this long term, and you're not gonna be able to see the results that we were just going over earlier. So this is how we're gonna do it. This is how you're gonna lose your gut and hit your goal weight, right? So most of you guys are stuck right here right now. You're struggling with some belly fat, your energy is low and so is your motivation, your clothes aren't fitting well, you lack confidence and your metabolism has slowed down, right? So that's why the first thing that you have to do is set your goals and craft a tailored plan that works for you. You just have to draw the line in the sand and change, right? That's half the battle, of course, that's why we don't see some movement upward here, but at the same time, it is the hardest step to take, but you have to take it. Right, so once you hit step one, we have to go to step two here and address the root cause of weight gain. And we can address the root cause of weight gain by plugging in what's called a hormonal-based approach to weight loss, which I'm going to cover right now. A hormonal-based approach is simply looking at the quality of your food and the impact of that food quality on your hormones. Now, we don't need to have an in-depth understanding of biochemistry and how each individual hormone functions physiologically in the human body, we just need to understand that these two hormones here are going to help us the most when it comes to helping us lose our gut and losing weight consistently, right? Number one is insulin. This is by far the ultimate predictor of how much body fat that you're going to lose or gain, right? So insulin is an anabolic hormone. Anabolic is just a fancy word for growth. It can be responsible for the growth of good things or bad things. Good things being your muscles, 
or bad things being the fat tissue that's built up around your skin or even around your organs, which causes you to have a larger stomach, more in the way of belly fat. So this hormone is responsible for the storage of body fat. And once again, it's the ultimate predictor of how much body fat you're either going to lose or how much body fat you're going to store and end up gaining around your stomach and the rest of your body. So we have to make sure that this hormone is functioning the right way. We're stacking all the odds in our favor to lose body fat every single time we eat. So instead of storing body fat when we eat, you want to use our own body fat stores around our organs and our skin as fuel by eating the right things. Now, the second hormone is leptin. Leptin is a satiety hormone. It is just responsible for you feeling full. So when it is high, you will be full. When it is low, you will not be full. So we wanna make sure that we actually elevate this hormone by eating foods that are going to satiate us and also give us a good insulin response, which I'm going to go over right now. So now we're gonna go over how insulin works and how it can actually put you in a position to either lose body fat or gain it, right? So we wanna try and get either a good insulin response or no insulin response every single time we eat. So a good insulin response looks like this, where it goes up and then it goes back down just as fast as it comes up, right? That's a good insulin response. Of course, no insulin response at all would just be nothing. And we actually get no insulin response from eating more in the way of dietary fat from monounsaturated fat, marine sources, fish, or saturated fat coming by way of red meat because there's no glucose, no sugar in saturated or monounsaturated fats. So we do not see a response from this hormone that actually dictates whether or not you store body fat to begin with. So even if we were to eat a whole stick of butter, our likelihood of storing body fat would be 0%. Now, let's say we eat some cookies, some processed carbohydrates, sugars, or even some seed oils. Those are gonna be the three big foods that give us the worst insulin response possible, where it goes up and then it stays elevated for hours on end, and then it eventually goes back down. This period right here is where we are storing body fat. Insulin going up is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just whenever insulin stays elevated for far too long, because the longer insulin is elevated for, the more likely we are to store body fat. So the way in which we customize this, whenever I have my first one-on-one -on -one with any clients that join the health optimization program, we identify what their goal is, right? What is your current fat loss goal? And depending on what their goal is, that's gonna really dictate how metabolically healthy they are. So if someone's looking to lose 15 pounds, that individual is more than likely gonna be more metabolically healthy than someone that's looking to lose north of 50 pounds. And metabolic health is just a fancy term for describing how efficiently you burn fuel. If you're metabolically healthy, you are burning fuel at an efficient rate. You're burning fuel quickly. Now, if you're metabolically unhealthy, that means your metabolic rate is slow, the rate at which you're burning fuel is slow and is not as efficient. And that's usually true for somebody that is looking to lose north of 50 pounds. So the more in the way of body fat that you're looking to lose and the more in the way of belly fat that you're looking to lose as well, those are gonna be signs of someone that is not very metabolically healthy, that does not have a very fast metabolism. So that's what we identify, right? What's your fat loss goal? So if we identify that our fat loss goal, for example, is to lose 50 pounds, we're not gonna be very metabolically healthy and that is going to dictate what our insulin response looks like depending on what we eat. So somebody that is going to eat, let's say, 150 grams of grapes is going to have a completely different insulin response than somebody that's looking to lose just five pounds that's much more metabolically healthy. That is why it is so important to have something that is customized to you, because if you don't, you're going to be shooting shots in the dark when it comes to the foods that you're eating, and you're not really going to know which foods are putting you in a position to lose body fat and which foods are putting you in a position to gain it. So going over that same example, let's say we're looking to lose 50 pounds, right? And we're not very metabolically healthy because of that. The insulin response that we get from eating grapes may not be so good, right? It potentially will go up and then stay elevated for at least a few hours because the root cause of this here is hyperinsulinemia. This happening over and over and over again. And hyperinsulinemia is just a big fancy term for insulin staying elevated for far too long, which is a thing that we want to avoid here. The longer insulin stays elevated for, the more likely we are to store body fat. We wanna make sure we either get a good insulin response every single time we eat, right? Or we get no insulin response at all whatsoever. 
So we want to stack all the odds in our favor to where every single time we eat, we're getting one of these two insulin responses, right? Either a good one or none at all. So when we do this and we cut out any foods that give us an insulin response where it goes up and then it stays elevated for a very long time, that's something that we want to cut out. Once again, we stack all the odds in our favor here, depending on what your fat loss goal is, that will dictate how metabolically healthy you are. And then that will dictate what sort of insulin response that you'll get. And then based off that information, I fully customize a meal plan for you with a foods to eat and avoid list. You review those meals over time to see if you're getting good or no insulin response or a bad one so that you're able to lose body fat sustainably and efficiently. So now I'm gonna to briefly touch on why counting calories, restricting calories, and just controlling the sheer quantity of your food does not address the root cause of weight gain, which is exactly what we just went over with a hormonal-based approach, right? So let's say we have a ribeye here that has 500 calories, one ingredient, higher fat, higher protein animal food that gives us a good insulin response whether we're metabolically healthy or metabolically unhealthy, right? Now let's say we have a cookie here that has the same amount of calories, but a paragraph of ingredients full of processed sugars and fake manufacturer ingredients that are bioengineered that have seven syllables. If the counting calorie myth, the myth that is a caloric deficit that all calories are created equal here, a calorie is a calorie. If that is true, even though these have each 500 calories, are these two foods here equally as fattening because they have the same number of calories? Or is one more fattening than the other because a ribeye has one ingredient, higher fat, higher protein animal food, and the other is a cookie with a paragraph of ingredients full of processed sugars and fake bioengineered ingredients? The answer is simple. Of course, they're not equally as fattening. This food here is gonna be 10 times more fattening than a ribeye, and if anything, we can eat 2,000 calories of this food right here of a ribeye and not put ourselves in a position to store or gain body fat because this hormone insulin is going to respond well to those calories because it is not full of processed carbohydrates, sugars, or even seed oils like a cookie would, right? A cookie is going to spike insulin without a doubt, even if you are somewhat metabolically healthy. So the amount of calories doesn't matter. So that's what happens whenever you just focus on food quantity and you get restricted with that. Sure, if you expend more fuel than what you're taking in, you're gonna lose body fat, but you're still not addressing the root cause of why you gain that body fat in the first place. And if you address that and you reverse the catastrophe that is insulin staying elevated for hours on end, then we can start to actually lose our body fat without having to control the amount of calories that we're eating and we'll actually be able to eat more in the way of these fun to eat foods, honestly, like steak, chicken, etc. which I'm sure you guys absolutely love to eat here. You're gonna be able to eat more of those foods because we're gonna focus heavily on weight training over cardio to get a bigger boost in your metabolic rate and grow the size of your muscles. So that way there's a higher demand for fuel for those muscles and we could eat more in the way of these good quality foods as long as they give us either no insulin response or a good one like this food here would. So in case you guys are like, man, can I really not control portions, not counter restrict calories or control quantity and see consistent fat loss results, that number on the scale go down and get a flat stomach? The answer is yes. As you can see here, Michael has lost 32 pounds in less than three months and he was working long hours at his desk as a teacher, he had a very difficult time keeping this weight off. He has worked with an in-person trainer in the past and he's tried counting calories as well, but it did not work for him and he certainly did not see results like this. And even though he is state certified to teach nutrition at the high school, he was amazed at how much I was able to teach him about how he could not only lose his weight, but keep it off indefinitely. And as you can see here, everyone around Michael is starting to notice his achievements and he said his other trainer never helped him as much as I have, even though that old trainer was having him count and restrict calories and we weren't counting a single calorie. We, we, didn't, we hardly even knew what his calories looked like. There were certain days where it was even above 2000. We were not tracking it. We were simply focusing on the quality of his food and the impact that was going to have on the two hormones that we've already gone over, such as insulin and leptin. So he's fully satiated and he's not putting himself in a position to store body fat. We did the exact same thing for Hollis, 
who was actually traveling all across Europe for work for the summer, he broke 230 and he's right around the corner from losing 40 pounds in three and a half months. He started at 265 in early May and broke 230 mid-August. And with Hollis, we just focused on nutrition. He wasn't hitting workouts like some of my other clients were. And he still broke 230 in less than four months when he started at 265. Now, that completely debunks the myth that you have to move more and eat less and get yourself into a starvation mode state to keep this body fat off for the rest of your life. He broke 230 without having to do any of that. So if you're going through this and you're thinking, man, this is exactly what I need right now. I wanna plug in a hormonal based approach to start losing body fat and to lose my stubborn belly fat to get that flat stomach, then click the link on the top middle or bottom of the video description to speak with me directly to see if I can fully customize a plan that is built for you, your goals, and your busy work schedule. So that is going to be step three here, right? Once we address the root cause of weight gain with our diet and we fully build out a plan that allows us to get a good or no insulin response every single time we eat and we eliminate any foods that would put us in a position to gain body fat or belly fat, we now wanna focus on getting a big boost in our metabolic rate by focusing on weight training. Once we accomplish step two, we address the root cause of weight gain with a hormonal based approach. With your diet, it's fully optimized. We now want to boost your metabolic rate by targeting each muscle group each week through weight training and you actually won't have to do a second of cardio. Steve here, like we mentioned earlier, lost 40 pounds in four months and did not do a second of cardio. It was all focused on weight training. And Steve was very, very busy. He was a network engineer. So we weren't doing hour long workouts. And many of the other clients, if not all of them in the health optimization program, they are not spending hours in the gym. If anything, we're knocking out these workouts in a span of 20 to 30 minutes max. So Andy here, who works as a therapist, he is very, very busy and he is constantly on the go. This is one of his push days, right? He only does three workouts per week. This estimated workout was supposed to be 37 minutes and he finishes it in 34 minutes, right? So he's really only dedicating about an hour and a half to exercising each week and he lost five pounds within his first few weeks of working with me. So just so you have that validation to know this is true, you start at 164 on August 8th. We just started working together a few weeks ago and now he is down to 158. Pretty crazy, about 5.3 pounds of weight loss within just a couple of weeks, and he's only dedicating about 90 minutes per week to exercising, not doing a second of cardio. And Dion, like we mentioned earlier, right, lost 12 pounds within his first month joining the program and lost a ridiculous amount of belly fat as well. He only had access to a couple of pairs of dumbbells at his home gym, mainly because he was so busy as an IT sales professional and he didn't have time to be driving back and forth from the house to the gym. He just wanted to knock it out all in one place. And even with that, and even with doing 30 minute workouts, he was able to see such incredible results within his first month and lose a ridiculous amount of belly fat as well. And here is Dion talking about how much he loves his workouts and the new plan that we have customized for him. You've done this, like just a bench and dumbbells. I've never had better workouts and I've been part of some of the nicest gyms going. You'll be doing my workouts for the next five years, so I'm not going anywhere. So pretty cool. Safe to say that Dion is loving the progress and the results that he has been seeing with his new plan. That is a complete lifestyle change and it's not this gigantic chore of doing all this torture-oriented cardio and restrictive diets that he's tried in other programs, right? So that's the final step, step four making this a lifestyle change that is both effective and enjoyable so you can do it for the rest of your life to where it doesn't even feel like a change. If Dion wants me to customize his workouts for him for the next five years, and he's asking me to make more of them for him, obviously those are things that we want, right? Especially us guys that are having a really tough time managing our career and making time for our health. If we get to that state, it's gonna be very easy for us to go on autopilot, even if we have to put some work in in the beginning it's gonna be absolutely worth it for us to get to that state because then we're gonna have this plan that we can follow for good that will help us keep the weight off indefinitely. Then we'll be able to get all the benefits of a flat stomach, high energy and motivation, clothes fitting comfortably, greater confidence and a boosted metabolism, which is what you guys want at the end of the day. 
I know you guys don't want to be in a position where you don't want to take your shirt off in public at the pool, or it may be difficult to go through some day to day activities such as walking up a few flights of stairs or more winded than you should be, or you're taking steps closer and closer towards being a type two diabetic and you have that family history of cardiovascular disease or some other mortality risk that you don't want to face if this gets worse and worse. It starts with belly fat and a little bit of weight, but you want to turn this around before it gets worse. And what better solution than to have a plan that is both effective and enjoyable that addresses the root cause of what's going on, something that you can follow for the rest of your life that does not feel like an absolute chore. When you craft that out, you optimize that and you get the accountability and the structure of the plan itself, making this a lifestyle change that doesn't even feel like a change, then you can also see some amazing results like Brian, who's a very busy guy running a surface water program business. He lost 10 pounds in his first three weeks joining the program. And as you can see here, he's feeling the strength every single day and he's now has a completely different attitude even towards life in general. And I'll go ahead and play this video of Brian, who is also addicted to going to the gym now. This, this program's a lot different than other programs that I've had. And it, and it works. I actually crave going into the gym. So it's safe to say that Brian is loving the gym. He's loving his routine. And that's something that a lot of you guys can't say that are following a very vigorous workout routine, two hours on the treadmill doing some crazy cardio or following some other restrictive diet. All these guys look forward to the changes, quote unquote changes that they have to make that don't even really feel like changes because they've put the work in. When you craft out a plan that's both effective and enjoyable, you cut out what you need to cut out and you include what you need to include with your diet and you target each muscle group each week and you get the accountability and the structure that you need for your busy schedule, the results once again speak for themselves. So you guys have seen a ton of client transformations already, but here's some more to really drive it home here. Wally lost 4.5 pounds in his first three days joining the program while managing his busy career in construction management and Sonny while working long hours at his desk lost 17 pounds in his first month. It's the same story every single time when you address the root cause of what's going on. Eric, he lost 20 pounds in two months. Joel, he lost 50 pounds in five months while working in the IT sector. The list of testimonials goes on and on and on. I'm sure you guys get the point already, but this approach works as long as you make it work and you draw that line in the sand to make a change now instead of later. So speaking of which, these are the three limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck right now. Number one, I hear it all the time, now is not a good time, I should start next month. The men who optimize their health and lose their stubborn belly fat realize conditions will never be perfect. They take action despite the circumstances because they're never going to be ideal because the cost of inaction is far greater than you taking action now instead of waiting until a month from now, later, until conditions are perfect, until work calms down, until you know after this wedding or after this vacation that I go on. There's never gonna be a perfect time to make a change and all the guys that we just went through that saw such amazing results in such a short period of time realized that and took action anyway and that's why they saw such amazing results. You can have the best diet, the best workout routine, the best plan in front of you. But if you don't have the willingness to take action now and draw that line in the sand to make a change for yourself today instead of later, then you're always going to be saying that you'll do it tomorrow and you'll never do it in the present. Number two, I'm way too busy and I don't have time. We all know this is BS. We all have 168 hours in a week. Even if we're working 80 hours a week, we still have 32 hours left over if we start to also calculate sleep here. Eight hours per night, seven days a week, that's 56 hours. We subtract that from 168, we are left with 112 hours. Even if we're working 80, which is really, you know, most of you guys aren't even working that many hours, we subtract 80 hours from 112, we have 32 hours left over. So if we're gonna sit here and say that we don't have time, then we're simply just not making time for what's important. It's not a matter of us having enough time. It's a matter of us getting creative and strategic to make time for what's important now, which is our health. And you will draw that line in the sand and make a change for yourself now if your health is at the top of the priority list. And once again, all those guys that we just went through, all those amazing transformations, they were in the exact same situation as you with a busy work schedule. Steve, a network engineer, Dion, an IT sales professional, Joe also works in sales, Brian, he runs a surface water program business, all these guys have demanding careers, demanding schedules, but they still made time for what's important, which is their health. They put their health on the top of the priority list. 
And in order for you to see results now instead of later, you have to do that. Now, number three, unfortunately, this is one that I hear all the time, and it's, I don't believe in myself, I'm afraid of failing because you've tried so many things in the past that did not work, that did not sustain your progress. And I understand, I get it, especially if you've been burned in the past by a coach that sucked, a program that sucked, or a diet that felt so restrictive that just led you gaining all the way back faster than how long it actually took to lose it. But if all those guys that you've seen already that were in your exact situation that you're in right now watching this video, if they can lose all their body fat and lose their stubborn belly fat and get a flat stomach, even with those circumstances, then you absolutely can too. Plenty of my clients, such as Steve and Michael and a lot of other guys, have tried working with an in-person trainer, even another online personal coach like myself, but they still bet on themselves anyway to take action now instead of later so that they can finally find a plan, an approach that works for them, that addresses the root cause of waking, that they can follow for the rest of their life that does not feel like torture. Because the only way to lose with losing weight is to give up. That's the only way. That's the only way you can actually lose in this game of losing body fat and getting a flat stomach is just by throwing in the towel. That's when you are officially in a place where, yeah, you're gonna have this belly fat, you're gonna have this body fat forever and there's nothing that you can do about it. But you can, if you don't give up, and you take action anyway, despite your non-ideal circumstances and you make a change for yourself for the reasons as to why you wanna make a change. There's two paths that we can go down, right? We can either stay stuck or we can take action. Path number one is staying stuck, obviously. Continuing to let these limiting beliefs and these external factors dictate whether or not we see results and we stay stuck and risk even more serious health complications and problems in the future due to us not taking action now. Or you can go down path number two here and click the link on the top, middle, or bottom of the video description to speak with me directly to see if I can help you lose all your belly fat, get a flat stomach, and fully optimize your health by drawing that line in the sand to make a change now instead of later. So we can go path one, down the path of little to no results at all whatsoever, continuing to say that we're gonna do it tomorrow when that really means we're never gonna do it. We end up staying stuck for many more years and we end up dealing with problems that we're not even dealing with right now. Or we can go down path number two, make a change now even though conditions are not ideal and we end up getting to where we've been wanting to go for so long with a plan that we can follow for the rest of our lives. So. We all know what the right decision is here, especially if you've been stuck for many, many years and you need some help. I'm more than happy to help you if you want to speak with me directly and see if I can help you get the results that you've been looking to see for months, if not years. So that's it for this video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at It's Bobby O'Brien if you have more questions about how I can help you specifically. That will be in the middle of the video description as well. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.